Speaker. I'm glad to rise today to speak to my private member's bill, Lowering Prices for Canadians Act. There's too much corporate control in Ottawa. We see the corporate controlled conservatives who set up a system that continues to benefit wealthy CEOs. We see the big lobby liberals continue to protect the interests of those greedy CEOs. We've seen multiple opportunities that both of these governments have had to go after these greedy CEOs that exploit Canadians, but they've done nothing to take on their greed. And as a result, people are struggling. The Liberals tried their ask nicely of the CEOs and read grossly friars tactic to bring down prices, and that failed. In fact, it wasn't to bring down prices, it was to stabilize prices. And we know that the corporate control conservatives will never take on CEOs. That is something they will never do. They will never take on the greed of these CEOs. We want to crack down on the power of these greedy CEOs, bring more power to Canadian consumers, families, and workers, and that's exactly what our bill, what my bill, the lowering prices for Canadians, will do. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have two Canadas. In one Canada, Corporate CEOs of large grocery stores have made record profits. Let me go through some of those profits. The three largest grocers, Loblaws, Sobeys, and Metros, have made combined $3.6 billion in profit in 2022. $3.6 billion. The CEO of Loblaws, Galen Weston, compensated at $11.79 million per year, was deemed to be underpaid while the average salary of his worker, that is 431 times higher than the average salary of a worker at his company. Shame. And what's the reality for the rest of Canadians? Food prices are up by 30%, record usage of food banks, and workers at those big grocery chains can't even earn enough to grocery shop at those very same chains. This is a rigged system, rigged by Liberals and Conservatives, and we want to change that. We want to tip the scales back in favour of working people, back in favour of the consumer, and that's exactly what our bill, the Lowering Prices for Canadian Act, will do. The establishment Liberal Party and their corporate-controlled Conservatives refuse again and again to do what's right. Point of order, the Honourable Member for Renfrew uh, Pembroke Nipissing. Enough, Mr. Speaker. Oh, sorry, Thank you. Renfrew, Renfrew Nipissing uh, Pembroke. <laughs> last week, uh, you reminded us that we are not to use any nicknames for different parties, and I take quite exception to being ca called a corporate con controlled conservative. No one controls me. Member for, for raising this issue. Uh, in, indeed, uh, I, I did uh, make that statement, but uh, quite quickly it was brought to my attention by some honourable members that the, uh, the, it, the, uh, the adjectives which were used uh, was considered to be fair game, and I've relented in, in pursuing that point. So I thank the honourable member of that, and I would encourage all members to try to be uh, judicious, but uh, I did uh, relent on that point. So. Continuing debate, the Honourable Member from Burnaby, uh, uh, South Burnaby, Burnaby Sud, she has 12 minutes and 10 seconds left. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Let me, let me be very clear again. The establishment Liberals and the corporate-controlled Conservatives <laughs> both had the opportunity to take on the powerful interests of these CEOs and don't and haven't. Like the majority of Canadians, I believe that corporate greed is driving up the cost of food. That's what Canadians believe, because they know it to be true, but the corporate control Conservatives and establishment Liberals won't do anything about it. We will. That's what our bill is about, giving more power to consumers and less power to greedy CEOs.